Suzanne from Let's Go Peak District and I have the absolute pleasure of being up close and personal with this beautiful well dressing from the village of Hathersage in the Peak District National Park. Now counties up and down England create their own well dressings but the custom is particularly well known, if you pardon the pun, in the Peak District and especially in the counties of Derbyshire and Staffordshire. It's an ancient tradition, it goes back hundreds of years. Certainly in the Peak District, in Tissington, it's recorded as early as the 1300s. So it's perhaps a bit surprising that nobody actually knows exactly how or why the tradition started. But it's literally to dress the community well. So most probably it's to give thanks for the water that the well provided, which certainly hundreds of years ago would have been absolutely vital to the people of the community. Well dressings are essentially very large pitchers, created entirely from natural materials. They're absolute works of art, and each one takes hundreds of hours to create. used or gathered throughout the year and typically consist of petals, flower heads, leaves, moss, twigs, seeds, berries, nuts and wool. And if you've ever wondered exactly how a well dressing is made, keep watching because I was lucky enough to be able to go behind the scenes as this one was created, right from the start to the finish. The well dressing is created in clay that has been applied into wooden boards. The first stage is for the boards to be soaked in the river for about three weeks to soften them. The clay is then kneaded to make it pliable and remove air pockets in a process known as puddling and it's then smoothed into the wooden boards. The design for the well dressing is drawn onto large sheets of brown paper and laid over the clay. The design is then carefully pricked through onto the clay and the first elements of the picture are added. The dry, most robust materials are added first, such as wood, seeds, berries and wool. The foliage is added next, so the leaves, grasses and mosses. petals and fragile leaves are then added in a process known as petaling. The boards are then transported very carefully to the site of the well and placed in position. And as you can see behind me, the end result is this beautiful creation that everybody in the village can appreciate and admire. And maybe that's the key to well dressings and their enduring appeal, even now when we can get water just by turning on a tap in our home. It's about the whole community coming together to create something and make something of absolute beauty.